Hey there folks, it's Lane with Windows10Update.com and today we're going to be taking a quick tour of Windows 10 Preview Build 10547. So this is the latest build available in the fast ring currently for Windows Insider Preview members. So let's take a look and see what has changed. There are a few notable additions. The first thing that I notice here is that actually down here in the taskbar, there are brand new icons for some, but not all of Microsoft's own apps. So we have calendar and mail here. Now I actually really like these. I like having a little bit of extra color uh, on my taskbar there. So that's nice. The start menu icons have not been updated. Those remain just the two-tone uh, form that we have seen in the past. Now something new that you probably also notice here is that I can now have four medium icons going horizontally for each of these columns. In the past, Microsoft limited that to three for some reason. I'm not sure why, but they have updated that. And that also carries over into the tablet mode. So the tablet mode is actually what I want to talk about next. Let's go ahead and switch to tablet mode. So in the past, multitasking was kind of messed up and it's still kind of a step backwards from Windows 8.1 when it comes to actually using your device as a tablet. In Windows 8.1 you could swipe in from the side and then see all the different apps that were open and then go ahead and slide one of those over to bring it into multitasking. Now Microsoft has basically fixed that. It was not an option in Windows 10 before. What you'd have to do is bring an app into this uh, snap mode and then go ahead and select using snap assist. Just had a little bit of a crash there so I may have to try that again. Let's open up something else. Let's try the store here. So of course snap assist is helpful in you know snapping different applications. However, what if there's another application open and I want to snap that one instead? Well, here's what's brand new in Windows 10 build 10547. This, this kind of teetering that we see here, that was not in Windows 10 previously. So now I can snap this Groove Music app. And if I want to go ahead and bring that store app back, all I have to do is press and hold and then slide it over to the left side to go ahead and snap it. In addition, you can now close apps from this task view by sliding them down to the bottom of the screen. Uh, in the past, what you would have to do is hit that little X, and that is quite difficult with your fingers. So these are welcome changes. Something that is still missing, however, is the ability to snap more than two applications. Uh, in, I'm using the Surface Pro 3 right now, and in Windows 8.1, I could snap three apps. That is not an option currently here. Now something else that's brand new in this build of Windows 10 has to do with the snap functionality of apps when you are in desktop mode. So if I'm using these two apps and I want Groove Music to be larger and the store app to be smaller, I have to do that in two steps. So I'll bring the Groove Music app over and then resize this app as well. That is not extremely convenient or easy to do. However, Microsoft has added a feature to make that better. So now if we go into the settings app, system, and then multitasking, we can check this box. When I resize a snapped window, simultaneously resize any adjacent snapped window. Now I'm trying to demonstrate that feature for you right here and it's not working. Uh, and I have run into this problem when screen recording for some reason. It does work when I'm not recording the screen, but I don't know if the additional load on the processor is preventing it from doing that. But what would normally happen is you would just go into this uh, mode with your mouse where you hover over in between the two applications. And then there would be a little animation right here to show you that you're going to be resizing both windows. So what would happen here is I would slide movies and TV over and it would also at the same time resize Groove Music over into the remaining portion of the screen. So for some reason that's not working for me right now. I do apologize for that, but that feature is there. Now another feature that has been added is the ability to change the login screen or sign in screen background to match your color, your chosen uh, personalization color. Um, they still don't have the option for you to go ahead and change it to another picture, but you can at least disable the Windows background um, from showing up there. Just really briefly here to show you how to show those uh, that wider column section here, you just go into personalization and start and then show more tiles. That's how you do that. 
So that's everything that is new in build 10547 that we are aware of. Uh, although there have been some other updated icons that we didn't talk about, that's pretty much everything. If you know of something else, don't be afraid to leave us a comment below.